Well, last Friday, Sanford Center, ex former Sanford Center Executive Director Curtis Webb was term uh, ter terminated by the event center's management company, VenueWorks. Uh, Josh Peterson looked into the many questions that still remain. Questions over business practices have been at the forefront lately for the Sanford Center's management company, VenueWorks. Last Friday's announcement stirred the pot as VenueWorks terminated former Sanford Center Executive Director Curtis Webb from his current position at the U.S. Cellular Coliseum in Bloomington, Illinois, for using company debit cards for personal reasons. Um, our feeling is that we're going to do a full investigation. Our COO will be here next week as well as our controller to start pulling through all the records and determine if and how much uh, anything was done. The announcement came just two weeks after questions were raised at a Bemidji City Council work session where the issue of VenueWorks brought in high-risk shows without a promoter on the city of Bemidji's dime. Even though it's been a rough couple of weeks for VenueWorks, Vice President Russ Ferguson says that the questions that were raised a couple of weeks ago at a City Council work session have nothing to do with the current investigation of Curtis Webb. And it's my knowledge that, uh, you know, uh, Steve Peters, our president, has addressed those issues with the city and he plans to cover any of the losses that were going to uh, take place due to those. The city of Bemidji says that while nothing has been resolved yet, a new task force has been formed to help further understand and communicate the event center's business. We do have a, a work group of the council that's been formed to try to take a look at some of our operational policies, mm -hmm. some of our risk tolerances that we want to yep. take a look at with our promotional activity to do with the Sanford Center. As for issues concerning Curtis Webb, the city of Bemidji will be working with VenueWorks, who says it will reimburse any outstanding unauthorized expenses to the city of Bemidji. As for legal action by the city, it remains to be seen. Too early to know. Too early to know. Okay. We, we can't really comment too much. It's an investigation that's happening right now. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. VenueWorks corporate finance staff is currently reviewing all bank statements and accounts VenueWorks is working with the City of Bemidji to determine any further action. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.